Well, hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my channel. This is what we're going to be making today. These beautiful savoury cheese and bacon scones. Right, let's get cooking. Sorry, I was just um, centering my scales. Don't know what the what the word is really. Um, 500 grams. Sorry, not um, two cups. So here we are, edging towards the 500. There we go. 500 grams. Now let's have a look at our other ingredients. And of course make sure you sieve your flour so that there's no lumps and it's nice and light. So we're just preparing the rest of our ingredients. We've got some bacon here. Um, one rasher, shoulder bacon, smoked. I've got 150 grams of butter there, cubed, and in that little dish there, I've got two teaspoons of mixed herbs, I've got a teaspoon of hot mustard powder, I've got half a teaspoon of turmeric, and I've got two teaspoons of baking powder. The only other items I'm going to put in there is some salt and pepper. Right, first I'm going to put the cubes, sorry, I'm going to put these other dry ingredients in with the flour, then in go the cubes, then we'll put our bacon and our cup of grated Edam cheese in. Right, there's our sifted flour. I'm adding now our hot mustard, turmeric, herbs and baking powder and let's get in there with a little grind of salt and a little grind of black pepper. There we go. Now once I've combined that and I think I'll get a spoon. Just to get that through. I'll now put in the butter. The butter I will it's very sticky, isn't it? <laughs> Come on butter. I'm going to start rubbing that in now with a spoon. As soon as it starts to come together, um, I'll get my hands in there and I'll get it down to its sort of breadcrumb uh, final stage. Then we'll come back with the camera. Right, now we're grating the cheese and I just wanted to show you the sort of setting that I've got my grater here so that we get it that thin all right so you want a cup of it after it's grated and then we'll add it in to the other dry ingredients so there's that breadcrumb consistency that we we're after we're now going to add our cup of grated flour and we're just going to get that spread evenly throughout the mixture and just lightly get it into the dry ingredients don't push it around with um, scones in particular you need to be very gentle with your mixture all right let's put our bacon in as well now sorry about the noise these in. So these are going to be beautiful. That lovely bacon, cheese 
and the herbs. If I've got a whole lot of garlic lovers in, I will put garlic in as well. I do rather like it with the garlic, so that's something you can change. Right, now I'm going to start adding some milk. And I'll use a spoon to combine this. And I'm going to take just this ramekin. This is how I normally do it. And I start with that. And then I add little splashes at a time until I get the right consistency. This is boring. <laughs> But I want you to see um, just how this does come together because this is a crucial part of the recipe if you uh, are starting to put too much milk in um, then you're going to get uh, the scones not rising properly and you're going to get them spreading as well on cooking. So. Now that is so close it's not funny. I still think I'm going to need a tiny touch more. Right, so I'll incorporate that and then I'll get my hands in. And once I get it to dough, we'll come back and I'll turn it out on the board. There you have it. I'm just going to spread some flour on this board and then we'll turn it out and we'll cut it out. Now we're going to get our dough here. I better get the rolling pin too. <laughs> but we're just going to shape it. Now, I don't want to muck around with this too much because that's always a bad idea. So that's more like it. Let's start over here. So there you go, that's about right. And I've got a baking dish here, it's lined with parchment paper. Um, just see it there. I'm going to continue making these until I've finished filling that tray up. And there we have our beautiful scones ready to go. I'm just going to put some grated cheese on the top of them. I've got my oven at 170 degrees and we're going to try them at 12 minutes. Have a look, if they're done pull them out, if not pop them back in for another 2 or 3 minutes. Ok I'll come back when we're ready to take them out of the oven. There you go, there's these beautiful scones. I've got to tell you the aroma in this kitchen is amazing. And just look how much these are puffed up. Just beautiful. Right, I think they're going to look much better on a plate with some fresh butter. Right, let's have a taste. <laughs> mm. Those are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And these ones with the cheese on the top, they're going to be absolutely, absolutely superb. These here. Rightio, I'm going to get tucked into these. I hope you make this recipe. As, it's, as I say, it's real brief. Every time I've made them, they've doubled in size like that. They're fabulous. Give them a try. And I'll catch you on the next recipe.